welcome back. It's me again, Anushka. I hope you all are doing really well. So today I'm going to be doing a video all about eyeshadows for everyone who are quite beginner. Um, with are oh, quite beginner. What? This video is for everyone who is a beginner with eyeshadows, and I'm just going to teach you like the basic kind of pretty eyeshadow look. And I'm going to also talk about brushes as well, just roughly because. To be honest, most of my brushes are quite affordable and don't have specific names. So yeah, we'll just jump straight onto it and I hope you guys will find this video helpful. But before I go, I forgot to do my post notification shout out. Today's one goes to Arifa. Thank you so much for your sweet comment, hun. If you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and then comment in the comments below when you have done so. And yeah. Okay, so I think it's important for me to be up close for this video. Um, what I do want to say is though, every time I put eyeshadow, I put a full coverage concealer that is not cre that is creaseless, or I put an eyeshadow base. So my favourite ones at the moment and my favourite type of concealer that I like to use on my lids, if I can find it, where is my concealer? Oh, there it is. <laughs> So my favourite eye base is the P. Louise eye base, it's so nice and she has various shades now. This is the one when she first came out with it, it was one shade so it's quite light for me. But when I do my artistic looks it's actually kind of, it kind of works. But if you want something for every day there are normally, um, there are other shades and I will probably go for like a three or four. I think I was going to buy four. And then I also like to use my Tarte Shape Tape, obviously. I've used that today as my eye base. This is in the shade Tan Sand. And um, you can also use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define ones, which are cheap for that. And they're so much more affordable. They work just as good. So, yeah. Those are my eye primers that I really like to use. And then I make sure to set it with powder. Sometimes I don't even set it with powder because... Um, it's this new kind of, like, thing that P. Louise actually, like, has made a trend. But it kind of works, like... Once you put eyeshadow onto the concealer straight away, it just pops more. So if you want to um, facilitate your blending, definitely set your base. If you want to like really experiment, then try not setting it and you'll see like your eyeshadows will pop even more. But today I have set it with a bit of powder. I'm just going to tell you guys what I do if I were to go to the cinema or go to a shop. Not to a shop, come on now. Come on now, Nishka, no. Um, if I just go out for... a normal day out you know and um, the first thing I always do is wear a transition shade so this kind of transition shade can be anything that is kind of just slightly darker than your skin tones this is the old hood of beauty palette and I would use these two shades as my transition colors but for today's video I'm gonna go in with actually I'm just gonna mix these two so just before I go on to blending I just wanted to say something quickly about brushes most of my brushes come from Amazon, like Tonsi sets or uh, Doe Color sets, which I use a lot. Like, for example, these brushes are from the Doe Color sets. They're really good. But then I have a ton from the Mange collection. Uh, the, the pink ones that I always use are, are always Tonsi ones. If you always see me use these pink candled ones, they're, they're Tonsi brushes from Amazon. They're so affordable and they just do the job. If I have a specific brush that I really like, I will mention it, but most of my brushes are Amazon brushes and I'm just most, mostly going to talk about the shape of the brushes brushes rather than brands, but if I do have one where I really like pick for certain things, then I will let you guys know. For my transition shade, I really like to use brushes that are shaped like this and you can tell they have the same kind of shape. These really fluffy flared out brushes these two are the ones that I really like. So this one is actually a Morphe brush. This one is the M504 and it's the best thing ever to blend out your transition. Like if you want a nice blending brush, definitely get this one. This one is from the Mange set. So again, if I can find it, I'll try and link it. But I got this ages ago, but it's kind of got the similar shape. And this one's from my Doe Color set. So yeah, I really, really pack it on. Because I know these eyeshadows don't like fall out necessarily. And also, if you are going to use eyeshadows that fall out, or if you're just, anyways, if you're a beginner, try to do this before you put your, do your base, but I've obviously done it already for this video. But normally I do my eyes first. So what I'm doing is I'm putting it right in the corner there, just buffing this into the outer third section and slightly bringing it into the crease. And I'm barely touching the skin, like, it's barely touching the skin, so you really want it to, like, blend nicely. I see a lot of people go, like, 
like really hard like you don't want to do that just use very light motions i'm holding the brush like at the tip so you don't have much pressure and yeah just blend like this kind of use less pressure as you move out and towards the um top bit of your eyelid and use the most pressure like just a little bit more pressure towards the lash line and you can build it up to your liking this is kind of like my go-to eyeshadow look at the moment if i'm just going out quickly so can you see how that's a beautiful transition so mostly on the outer corner and slightly into the crease and the crease is underneath that brow bone like you will feel it like it's just un like where your crease is you can stick your nail under that bone that's where you want to place the shadow now what i like to do is just deepen that section here like just smoke out this little section in here without bringing it too high or covering this first color we used so i felt if like let's say i'm going to use the huda beauty palette as a reference because it is one of the palettes i go for a lot i use uh, this shade here which i believe is cocoa so anything that's a warm rich brown i love to use this so use the type of shade according to your skin tone so right now i'm go let's say i'm using two shades light two shades darker in terms of color for my crease my transition color which is the first color and then i would go maybe like three to four shades darker for this outer section color so yeah i would go for cocoa and then in terms of brushes, I kind of go smaller and more dense. So here's just three examples of brushes I would use. So this one's from the NYX brushes. Um, NYX brushes are actually really good. Um, and this is more of a tapered one from, I don't know what set this is to be honest. I think this is the Glam Doll brushes and it's like tapered but like kind of long but it still works and this is uh, again a tonsi brush and it's just super fluffy but more dense basically and smaller so I think today I'm gonna go for this glam doll brush this is the 318 brush but to be honest just wear just use any brush you feel comfortable with you don't have to use any specific brush for any like this specific thing obviously they are there are brushes that are really good for certain things um, which I will mention if I do have any but in terms of I think the shape is important but again like everyone's shape I realize even when I watch other bloggers they use different shapes to what I use for the same purposes so it really depends on the person so I'm going to grab that shade cocoa and blend that into the outer corner area so just here so I pack it on first so I just press on it and I slightly blend it but using much lighter pressure and just kind of like blending it into that first colour but not necessarily going on top of it and I'm bringing slightly underneath here as well into the crease you can do this sometimes I just keep it on the outer corner but you can bring it into the crease if you want to you can then go with your first brush and blend out the edges I do also like it to I do also like to take a clean brush and I always do mention this to kind of just clean up the edges and make sure that everything is nicely blended so now you can go on to your lid color which is the last thing i do to be honest and then i kind of tidy up under uh, afterwards so for your lid color you want to go usually lighter than what you have on the crease and i feel, feel like it makes it gives it more effect for, for the lid color i like to use any kind of flat synthetic brush synthetic fibers are ones that are not like goat hairs or ponytail hairs and stuff like that for example this this brush is not synthetic, it's made out of goat hairs, like fluffier br bristles, whilst this it feels more kind of like plasticky, if that makes sense. I'm going to go in with the shade Angelic, which is a kind of pinky gold shade. I, I remember I wore this exact look for my birthday last year, and every time I look back at the photos, I really love the makeup look. So anyways, I'm just going to pop this. I usually wet this colour, so I've just wet it it's super intense so if you want like more intensity with your lid color just wet it it really does work what i'm doing is i'm just putting it under the, again that bone bit and as soon as i get close to the darker colors i just start patting and blending it into the darker shade because you don't want just one line Sometimes I even take my finger and kind of sweep just on that section, just to blend the two. 
And I also like to take my finger, because eyeshadows apply so much better with your finger, especially like shimmery shades. Just to intensify that, I just use my finger. So that's usually what I would do. Like, isn't that just so effortless, so pretty? And it's not that hard, to be honest, in my opinion. And then finally, I like to go with like a long, flat, fluffy, kind of fluffy brush for my lower lash line. I'm going to first take the transition shade that we use and blend that underneath, very close to the lash line. I just blend this roughly, like there's no rule to this, I just blend it underneath there. There's no like specific rule on this. I try to avoid the inner inner corner area and mostly concentrate on the outer corner. And then I like to take an even smaller brush. You can take something like this, it, this is green because it's been stained by previous eyeshadows, like bright eyeshadows. But I take something small like this, and this is from like a doe colour set. And I'm going to take the shade Cocoa, which was a dark outer corner shade, and I'm going to go even closer to the lash line. <clears throat> I'm just going to pop some mascara. And there you go, that's the finished look. And what I like to do at the end is go with a very light champagne-y, goldy shimmery colour such as for example this one so what I like to do is take the this shade here with this brush this is a MAC 233 brush it has synthetic fibres on one side and then the actual bristles on one side and what I like to do is take the actual bristle side and then blend this onto my my brow bone like so and then I take the synthetic side and then just pop that in the inner corner. Just for like an inner corner highlight. Again, you can wet it for a bit more intensity, which I'm doing right now. See? Alright guys, so that's the finished tutorial. I hope you will find it helpful. Please give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your friends that um, you think might benefit from this video. Um, and if there are any like step-by-step -step kind of videos you want me to do for beginners, let me know as well. And yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye!